Right. Exactly right. right. And then that has a different uh, group to it. Exactly right. That's why it is right. number two, right? right? Exactly. That's why it has right. that number. It's, That's it's why essentially the basis for a dimensionality of sorts. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. When Charlie clicks on something, it's because he, he's dimensionalized it. I mean, it's like... It's really good. So we, two has a quality. And four has a quality. And eight has a quality. It's really a trip that when you're at the lowest bottom, you go to the top is where you go next. Because this is a coil. This, our decimal system is a coil. And this is the field. And this is the secret of electromagnetism. So, Seven's a quality, and five's a quality, okay? Three and six, the quality was that they always oscillate back and forth. Of course, the multiples would be three, six, nine, three, six, nine, or six, three, nine, six, three, nine. It says it right here, in multiples. And we have the nine. Nine never changes its quality, because zero times anything's always nothing. It's the absent of quality, and nine's complete quality. It's whole. And there it is. So it's always nine. And what's multiple? Two nines is 18, 27... 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81. It always equals itself 9. It's the never changing number 9. Perfect. Complete. Okay. You can keep on thinking. I just want to say a few more cute things about 9. Okay. Let's first look at a 6. A 6 is a hexagon, 6 sided. A triangle is the three. But as we know, in reality, the triangle doesn't connect except at the vertex, the point. And the nine, this is very important, and it's not by accident, is a perfect diamond. See how this makes a diamond? Should have been a bit, little bit better, a little bit more perfect. But it, it, Charlie has a question, but before Charlie does it, I want to finish just one point all over again. Okay. The number nine never changes. There's not another number that doesn't change. Okay, only number nine can do that. Zero is nothing. Zero times anything is nothing. And by the way, zero is not a member of a multiplication series. That's why after nine is not a zero. The zero is the vortex. And this is making a vortex. So multiples of two, there's not another thing that does it like it. You can't. And, it, and if you had a multiple, if you had a base 12, you would still be using. Um, the 1 and the 2 and 3 again, because it's after 9. And so you would be duplicating, at least as a phantom, as a mirror, uh, the 8, 7, and 6. In other words, you would be actually doing a mirror imaging, like in Kerlin photography, of um, the leaves, right there. Okay? You know, familiar? Um, so, numbers themselves... <laughs> By the very existence of a one, it creates an, a phantom of the eight. So there is not endless, as to the points we were reading, such as that, how many base systems are there? Okay. We say it says, somewhere, uh, it says, how many counting base systems are there? There is only one. Pretty hard core medicine to swallow. There's only one base counting system. Charlie? Um, I'm unclear as to how you're defining e each of those uh, numbers on, um, on the corners there. It represents a, a group, a family of numbers, right? Like one rep The family rep number group, the first one of 147, represents totally different planes what? of spatial orientation or points. This one's at the top. They never have two family number groups occupying both tops. Only one. There's one's at the bottom, and the other one's at the middle, and they are as far triangulated away well, from that's one. that's a number group right there. You're, you're, I'm talking one, about, what about one itself? Is that a number group by itself? No, it can't Okay, be. so one, four, seven is the group you're referring to. Nothing's less than groups of threes. Okay, so, and how is that made into uh, a number group? Yeah, just for me. How, how, how it's really made into a number group is that these emanations are shooting out. This is what you're asking, but this is the correct answer. There's three emanations shooting out at the same time. And if they're shooting out dimensionally, Charlie, one's going right here, one's going right here, and one's right here. And as these three are shooting out, three points ahead of them 
okay, is the last one that went out before okay. them. So there's space, so space, three, next so emanation. You get, you get, so they don't just shoot out one, and then there's another the one, then another one. A group, you add three each time. That's Say it again. To get, uh, Everything's controlled by three. Okay, so you mm -hmm. add three to one to get four, and then you add three more to get seven. Right. And then you add three more, and you get to one again. So those cycle, those are a group in themselves, right? But by themselves, they're just part of a, of a group. So That's right. Closed. But, they, they, That's but, but, but the blues and the pinks are closed, closed groupings. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely yeah. closed. Yeah. Creation's a closed creation. That's why it's called a bounded infinity. It's and, an infinity and, of duration, not direction. The duration is the spin continuum. It's, a never, it's infinity of motions, but it is not infinitely going out into space because it's warping and being curved by the intersections of these emanations it causes it to warp it's like a little kicker and it causes it to spin and as they spin ever hit a leaf on the lawn it kicks up in the air and comes closer to you than where it began from instead of going away where you wanted it to okay that's what these things are doing they're being warped okay and there, this is relativity here. Again, this is Einstein C squared, and it has an axis. It's a self-inclusive relativity. It's so extremely relative that it's relative to its convergence point, which is right here. Everything has an axis, and this is a fixed constant. This is an absolute. The number nine represents truth, perfection, consciousness. It's called a fixed constant. There's two schools of thoughts in the world. There's one that there are not fixed constants, and the other ones is that there are fixed constants. Mine is, is that there are fixed constants. These are called axioms, theorems. They're called divine virtues, spiritual principles. It can be applied just as fast. You can go from spiritual to physics and physics back to spiritual. It can be spiritual, it can be love, faith, um, trust. Uh, in physics, it can be um, the axis, the number nine. Why a gyroscope always stands up on its own when it spins. So by saying there's no fixed constants, basically sounds like uh, atheism or theism is exactly. there's constants. Like entropy, there's no order in the universe versus homostasis, everything has a divine order. Exactly right. I'm glad you said it. That was a good point. Number one, if it's positive, the number two is going to be negative, the number four is going to be positive, the number eight is going to be negative, the number seven is going to be positive. The number five is going to be negative, excuse me. And the number one is positive. So it's going back and forth, back and forth. Positive, negative. There's your binary flip-flop. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay.